So the question of the day is, what would you do, right? Or how would you react if you find out that the love of your life is impotent? Uh, um, yeah, it'd be pretty difficult, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. But I think, I think I could get past it. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need it. Yeah. I can't speak for everybody else. <laughs> I need it, and I mean, I'm saying like it plays a part in a relationship. Without that, I, I, I feel like it ain't going to work. I mean, like, it'd be some cheating involved, and I don't want to cheat on you. So if I love you, I'm just going to let you go. Thank you. Oh, I don't want kids, so I'm fine with that. <laughs> oh, so you don't care? <laughs> no, I don't care at all. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. What about you? Um, I probably wouldn't care because relationships aren't just about sexual stuff, so I really don't care. Cap. <laughs> What's going on guys? You already know it's your boy M to the A to the C to the K-A-Y vibe Today's question is gonna be How would you react if you find out that the love of your life is impotent? So you get into a relationship with this guy You fall in love with him and y'all are about to do the do, you know what I mean? Y'all are about to be intimate. And then you find out that, you know, Papa, Papa cannot go up. Papa cannot be raised. It cannot be erected. How would you react? Would you leave him? Would you stay? Would you work it out? Ladies, let us know what you would do in the comment section. Also, like, share this video, and subscribe. We're almost at 10K. Get me to that goal before the end of September. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Enjoy. Uh, what's your name, ma'am? Alyssa. Sky. Dominique. And what's yours? Here, Ariana. What would you do or how would you react if you find out that the love of your life is impotent? Hmm. I mean, it'd be pretty hard to handle, but, you know, there's always adoption. Okay. So. And why did you say it's going to, pre it's going to be pretty hard to handle? Because I want kids and he wants kids. I'm with somebody right now. He's the first person I thought about. Oh, my but there are other ways to have kids though yeah right? yeah so does that really matter to you though does the sexual intimacy matter to you oh you mean like not necessarily like, having kids but just like just being sexually active with each other uh um yeah it'd be pretty difficult i'm not gonna lie <laughs> yeah. but i and think i think i could get past it yeah for me it's more about like the um you know the kissing and the cuddling and all that stuff so so let's let's paint a picture right so you 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 like this dude Y'all get into a relationship, right? And, you know, you fall in love with him. And all of a sudden, y'all are ready to start being intimate with each other. And then you realize that it can't raise his private part. Yeah? How would you react? Be honest. Um, we can go to a sex therapist. Nice. And we can also um, go to the clinic. That's actually funny that you asked me that because I actually want to be a sex therapist. So. Okay. Yeah. Really, nigga? Yeah, we can definitely get through that. Yeah. And how are you going to get through that? Um, you just need some therapy. Some, yeah, so, yeah. So, what if after the therapy it doesn't work out? Um, that's the love of my life. So, it's more <laughs> you can, he can get me off in other ways. So. Yeah. Oh, so you you don't you don't care about the penetration? Be um, honest. Oh, you oh no, I actually really don't. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> you don't care about penetration? Wow. You lying. You know you lying. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> you telling me right now that the love is is part of that? It is. It it, it plays a part in it. Yes, I do believe it. So why is it so important? It's not the main thing that's important, but it's important because it, it matters. You need to be intimate with somebody. You need that. I mean, it's part of human nature. You need it. Like, what, what does it do for you? Because there's some people that don't really that believe they don't really need it as much. Yeah, I need it. <laughs> I can't speak for everybody else. <laughs> I need it, and I mean, I'm saying like it plays a part in a relationship. Without that, I, I, I feel like. It ain't going to work. I mean, like, it'll be some cheating involved. And I don't want to cheat on you. So if I love you, I'm just going to let you go. Thank you. Oh, I don't want kids. So I'm fine <laughs> with that. Oh, so you don't care? <laughs> no, I don't care at all. What about you? Um, I probably wouldn't care because relationships aren't just about sexual stuff. So I really don't care. Really? <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. So you can get married <laughs> to someone who's impotent? Yeah, I would. 
Okay. I don't, I don't care. What about yourself? Are you being honest? Yeah, I'm being dead for real. I would not care. And what would you be doing then? I don't man? Having a regular relationship <laughs> with no son? I don't know. So you don't think like intimacy is important and stuff? Mm, well, it depends. Well, if he can't, then no. Do you have a, do you have, are, you, are y'all old enough to date? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you have a boyfriend now? Uh-uh. And why is that? I don't know. <laughs> You are uh, you a gorgeous lady, so. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And why is it a, is it by choice or just? I mean, I guess. Why yo? You <laughs> <laughs> so you don't think intimacy is important? I in do. A, in every relationship. I do, but I think I could live without sex for a pretty good amount of time. Hey! I grew up most of my life, saved myself from marriage, so. Okay. It's kind of how it's yeah. So you can do that forever. That's what you're telling me. I Be think, honest. I think so. You think so? Yeah. Are you sure? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say for certain, but I think so. Well, yeah. I I can do it though. Yeah. Because I gotta be like intimate with my partner. Mm-hmm. That's just the type of person I am. Like, because yeah, I feel like I feel like sex builds a, a stronger bond. Mm-hmm. Oh, you don't think so? I do think so. Definitely. Okay. I mean, I know it would be difficult, but you know. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> are you dating right now? Hmm? And y'all are definitely intimate. Yeah, I mean, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what if, what if you actually found out that E was impotent though, while before y'all started doing it? Um, did you, had you, had you fallen in love with him before y'all started any Well, that's what I'm saying. I may not be the right person to ask because when I first met him, right. you know, I was planning not to have sex with him until it. I got married. And he was okay. like the person I lost my virginity to and all these things. And so I was fine without it for years. I mean, so why I really... So what did you do with him? Why didn't you just decide to wait to marry? Um, because I'm pretty certain that I'm going to marry him, like... I'm pretty oh, sure that I'm not okay. going to find anybody else like him. Like, I love him a lot. And okay, we talk about okay. marriage all the time. So, wow, that's yeah, beautiful. pretty confident, yeah. So, y'all going to invite me to your wedding? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We're planning to have a pretty small wedding. So, unfortunately, oh, okay. yeah. Well, your final answer, you can work with it. I think so, thing. yeah. And so, you can stay with someone like that forever. That's what you're telling me. I could. Are you dating right now? No, I'm not. Well, kind it's of? complicated. Oh, okay. Human beings need intimacy. They like being intimate. They, we crave human connection. And I mean, love is, it's, you know, it's cliche, but love is all you need. So intimacy brings people together and it makes you happy and, you know, strengthens your mental health. So are you dating right now? No, I'm not. And why? Is it by choice or why? Uh, definitely by choice. Um, and just because I'm focused on other things besides that right now so all the guys that walk up to you what do you tell them no no I'm sure because you Uh, you I'll say no or I'll lie sometimes I will say I'm in a relationship just so you get the out of my face or yeah so when you gonna be ready (laughs) I'm chasing this money right now I don't even know you gotta gotta find a balance though there has to be some balance I mean yeah it does I'm just not right now yeah so if People that niggas that are watching, they can, they can DM you or nothing. Is that what you tell me? No, they can hit my DM. You know, oh, okay. from business wise. Now, oh, you know, business wise, business you can, but that's it. relationship miss me. No relationships, but maybe like I mean, it might be it might turn into a relationship, but I just getting to know each other and then you take it from there. No, when you get to know somebody, that's a relationship. You're building a relationship. What's I don't your... want to get to know anybody. <laughs> <laughs> What's your Instagram? Uh, my Instagram is Juicebox Boutiques. Yeah. So y'all should check out. But well, thank you. What about yourself? You dating someone? Uh, no, not. And the same reason? Uh, I guess I don't know. I just don't feel like being in a relationship right now. It's not really interesting to Did me. You have guys walk up to you, try to talk to you and stuff. Not really. That's what you do. <laughs> you probably just turn them down. Right? No. <laughs> Hello guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, you already know what to do. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. You know I put a lot of hard work into making these videos for you guys. So the least you can do for me is to subscribe, share, like, and comment. Please. I'm not asking for too much, am I? Thank you. And also, make sure you leave suggestions for future videos in the comment section. I'll be very glad to check them out and make these videos for you guys like I always say. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.